guys and welcome back to another video of spark flux so in this video tutorial i will show you how to make this wrench from 2d drawing in fusion 360 this will be our practice exercise so uh, uh, this is for those guys or girls who are new to the fusion 360 workspace and this video will help you to uh, increase your uh, skills in fusion 360 so as you got through or we have got all these necessary dimensions in the front view and the thickness and a cut section is given here as you guys can see this outer profile the range where the nut actually fits in it's got the 5 mm extrusion thickness and the part um, beyond that is 3 mm and finally this uh, slotted design is 1.5 mm thick of course this is not the standard dimension so just you this is just to show you how to make a uh, uh, range from this 2D drawing. So as you guys can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 points here. So what I am going to do I will start by making these 6 points with at their desired locations and then we will make the outer profile. So for that just click on the sketch workspace and we will start by uh, drawing a line. Simply press L for line or you can just draw a line like this dimension is not necessary now so once done i am going to create a point so if you just look closely by the way you can find the link of this drawing in the description below so don't forget to check it out one two three four these four points are in line and these two, one is above the line and one is below the line so i will draw a point here and okay and again a point here a point here a point here a point here a point above that and a point below that now as you guys can see the distance between these two points the inner one are 55 and the outer one is 110 so press d for dimension and give these two points a dimension of 55 and the outermost point as 110 now we need to uh, uh, make this prof make this uh, uh, point symmetric to the center line so for that what i'm going to do is press l for line or and draw a line like this and click on symmetric constraint and make this line symmetric to these two points and these two points symmetric to this line like this so once it gets symmetric you will not be able to move this point now for these points one is above it and the one is uh, below this point let me just shift it a little bit here and this point here and this point here let me just make this line a construction one so you guys don't get uh, confused now as for this point uh, if you just look closely, the, the horizontal and the vertical dimension is given here. The apparent horizontal dimension is 6 mm and the vertical dimension is 2 mm and similarly here. So press D for dimension, give this to, uh, just delete this, we don't need a line dimension, we need a horizontal. So for horizontal like this and make this 6 mm and for uh, horizontal dimension you can just right click on it and select vertical instead plus 2 like this now repeat the same step for here also make this as 6 and make this as 2m now once your point has been assigned to their desired location I will be making these circles. So as you guys can see the outer circle the radius is 16 mm and the inner circle with this center it has a radius of 13 mm. So 16 and 13. So for that press C for circle and point this and right click on it and you can just uh, make the circle here of 16 by 2 so that it's asking for diameter as uh, you guys can see the radius is 13 so really the die is 32 so for that press d for dimension and give this a dia of 
32 like this and from other point press C and this is 14 so 14 into 2 is 28 so this is 28 now once done what I'm going to do I'm going to draw a line from this point to this point like this now once done I'm going to offset it so basically what I am making is I am making this rectangular profile and uh, this profile is, is equally divided by this point at a 17 and 17 mm so what I am going to do is is I am going to make this offset and the offset distance the distance of the offset should be 17 divided by 2 and you may press enter now once done you you can just press L for line and extend this line like this and again press repeat the line command and extend this line like this now what I'm going to do is click on mirror command select these lines that you have drawn and the mirror line is this line and press OK now once done now leave that for now now i'm going to make this point so as you guys can see from this point this point this profile has a slot so for that what i'm going to do is to create go to slot uh, center to center slot the first center would be this the second center would be this and draw a slot like this uh, we don't have to give dimension right now uh, so for the dimension you guys can see it's the thickness is 11 mm so press D for dimension and give this a dimension of 11 and you may press enter now I need a one offset line like this and one other offset line like this and the distance is 1.5 so go to offset offset this as you can offset it as 1.5 and you may press enter now to delete these uh, undesired profiles like this and press L for line and extend this line to this point and similarly here extend this line to uh, somewhere here now for the next thing what I'm going to do is is to press uh, trim the excess line so press T for trim and trim these lines these excess lines with which we don't know so what I need is this profile the inner one so apart from that just carefully delete all the unnecessary lines that we don't need uh, you can actually uh, uh, refer the drawing to trimming actually I know I already made this syringe so I actually know what to trim and what not to trim so here now it looks exactly like this profile so once done what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a fillet of this line and this line like this no 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 just cancel this for now again press L for line and join this line to this line also and press T for trim now trim these two lines like this and we are going to make a radius here so the radius is given here the radius is 47 so click fillet select this point the radius is 47 and press enter now repeat the same step for here is 47 and you may press enter now once done now repeat the same exact step for this type of profile but the difference is the dimension this time would be a little bit different as you guys can see the radius was 16 here the radius the internal radius was 9 the out internal radius the radius is 13 it's 9 the outer radius is 16 uh, for 16 either here it is 4.5 so again from this point uh, yeah this point a 14.5 radius so 14.5 multiplied by 2 that is 29 
yeah and from for the smaller circle uh, the smaller circle is the radius 9 that means it's 15 so again the steeper circle and here draw a circle of diameter 18 again just repeat the same process like we did earlier press l for line these two point now the offset distance will be 13 divided by 2 so make the offset make the offset and the offset distance would be 13 divided by 2 13 divided by 2 and you press enter now press l for line and extend this line like this and again like this and go to mirror command mirror this this line with respect to the center line and press ok now press t for trim and just like we did before trim all the unnecessary lines which we don't need so slowly and carefully just remove all the unnecessary lines that we don't need you can always check the drawing for reference okay leave that thing it, it will not interact with our design so once the outer profile is seems to be closed now the radius or radius the radius is given is 23 so we'll fill it and this point and the dimension 23 and for the upper portion also 23 and done now once done what i'm going to do is i will simply uh, once a uh, more thing plus the for circle and just draw a circle like this actually we needed that portion uh, to extrude it so i will tell you in the later part of the video so draw a circle like this uh, actually i didn't meant to uh, uh, delete that line actually so once done what i'm going to do is uh, as you guys can see the thickness is 5 mm the outer portion here you guys can see so this is going to be offset at an angle distance of 5 mm so let's extrude this line and this line this would be symmetric and as you guys can see the distance is overall length and the distance is 5 and this is going to be a new body and press ok now if I just bring back the sketch and now it's to extrude these two symmetric whole length the length is uh, 3 mm as you guys can see so just make the distance at 3 mm and press join like this and wait for system to response and for the last this slotted mechanism let it be symmetric whole length and the distance is 1.5 mm and the distance would be joined once done just switch off all the sketch and your hinge uh, the wrench is completed last thing which is left is only to provide some radius so i think which you guys can easily handle so of course at this point and this point needs to be have some radius so hope you guys will enjoy the video Please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.